Welcome back everybody. Just wanted to walk you around our property. Uh, we have about three acres. We have our little three bedroom house, a nice basement on it. And we're sitting on about two acres of lawn and about an acre of wooded uh, property. And what our plans are this year, we would kind of like to talk about what our plans are this year to uh, clean up the wooded property and what we plan on doing maybe in the near future to the uh, rest of the property. Let me uh, walk you around and give you a little tour. Let's start here. So right here is one of the corner of our property. We have some woods sticking out there. Probably clear some of that woods out by our entry to our driveway. Our mailbox is right down there in our neighbor's house. Uh, we come around our driveway here. We have a, uh, just put a pad in, get some weeds to take care of for backing up UPS and things like that. We have our propane tank. Uh, of course, we got a, we're butted up against some corn fields and whatever crops we're putting in this year. Uh, right now, they just harvested corn. But this area right here, we're planning on putting a shop in here eventually. I don't know what we'll do. Maybe uh, just maybe a 40 foot by by 60 foot shop. We've got plenty of area to do it in. Maybe have a circle behind the building to cover us on that. Currently, that's just our burn pile area. Uh, next, what we plan to do is right here where the uh, orange car is. We plan on uh, putting a, a four car garage, maybe with a little office on it, so we can do some office work in there instead of in the house like we do right now. Um, you can see that area over here is our kind of our park area. It's our backyard. It's where we have our pool normally in the summertime. We just took it down for the winter just because of ice. It's just easier to take it down and maintain it less. Um, but we have about you know so about an acre over here of uh, backyard. Uh, um, that butts up to the woods here. That's our property as well. We want to clear that out. We had some brush removed one year, but it grew back, so it's going to be ongoing. Either we have to do some herbicide treatment to it or get a small tractor to uh, help keep it clear so we can do some brush hogging in the back. The lawnmower can't get in there, so I do a lot of hand work, but I'm going to have to get in there and get deeper into the woods and clean that out. We do have a few trees that are dead and dying that we need to take down this year. We'll have those drop in another couple months and I'll uh, cut it up for firewood and what I don't use I'll burn up in the brush pile. And back here we have neighbors back in here. We go back about 75 yards, 100 yards back into the woods here to a little pond area. We have a little trail back in here but it's quite uh, covered over so Usually in the wintertime I get in here and brush it out and get it ready for spring, but it's been overgrowing. So I'll have to get in here and again brush hog it if we get one or herbicide or just hand cut and clear. We'll do a lot of that this winter. And then over here, just burning the brush pile. You can see we've got a little raised area in here. I like to take that and uh, flatten it level and maybe put a picnic table right in the center of it really pretty area if we can get that leveled out when they did the pond out in the back they they put the dirt here and they never really leveled it out so there's a lot of up and down uh, spots in here we do have a a cottonwood tree here that's giving me some trouble. It's pushing my brick wall out. And it's uh, it's just horrible anyway with allergies and all the cotton floating around. It's one tree you don't, you don't mind getting rid of. So that's going to come out this winter. Clear out this brush around this wall area and make a nice picnic table area. Go around here. You can see the front of our yard starts over there. We kind of have three, two neighbors, so it's three neighbors sharing the, you know, all of our front yards butt up to each other, so it looks like a nice park. Very pretty area. This is the back side of our property here and all the woods. Again, I want to clear some of this out, brush it up, either by brush hogging it or just hand clear cut it. I will have a couple of professional or professional logger come in and brush cutter this 
winter and cut down a couple big trees right here next to our neighbor's garage. I want those cut down for insurance, insurance purposes. We'll let them do it. And that way I don't have to worry about the wind blows that way. So I don't want them to fall on our neighbor's property. So we're going to clear those out. Well, you can see we got a lot of woods back in here. We got to clear out. And then this is a trail going down to the pond. It's a small, we got like a little inlet that feeds into the larger pond that the neighbors share. My part of the pond is pretty small, but maybe we can dig it out and make it larger by getting through there. But it's still a very pretty area. Just got to brush it out, raise the limbs up about 20 feet and kind of give it more of a, a park setting than just plain woods. And there's a lot of trees in here that just shouldn't be in here. It's, it's hurting the good healthy trees and preventing uh, new growth. So we'll get this this brush out of here and the trees that we no longer want. We'll remove them. And you'll see some burn piles starting. That we'll burn those this, uh, this winter as well. As soon as the leaves start to drop and we have a little bit more moisture, I'll start cutting some trees down and start burning some brush. Again, these are the trees I want to remove. You can just get them away from the neighbor's roof and hat building. Just right here. Clear that all out and we'll we'll put some nice slow growing trees in here that look nice, give us separation, but yet a little bit less risky of falling. We do have a dead tree right here I gotta cut down this winter. I just cut one down here with this metal rings around. We're gonna uh, take that ring and we're gonna stump out this, this winter. Got another tree down here that I'm gonna cut the stump out. And uh, clear some, then right behind us is another tree. So we'll get that all cleared out, make it look really nice. But as you can see, it's already a nice yard. We just gotta clean it up a little bit. And get in here and get the woods cleaned up and make some firewood. If I give some firewood to the neighbors, I don't use a whole lot of it, but I do enjoy cutting it, cutting the trees down, rounding it out, and uh, you know, splitting that wood. We used to have 100 acres. Uh, I used to do that a lot. I had the loggers come in and clean it all up and we built some uh, logging platforms down below and I'd help them apply the choker chains and drag the logs out. A lot of fun. Working in the woods is a lot of fun. So you'll see a lot of us doing uh, a lot of that happening this season. Well that's it. Just a little tour of our property, what we plan on doing this year. Um, yeah, I look forward to it. I think it's going to be a nice winter to uh, get out here and get this done and, and share it with uh, all you guys. Uh, something I like to do. It's um, filming. It never really occurred to me. And then I just uh, did a couple videos just to share with family. And next thing you know, I said, well, why don't you just keep putting those uh, on the internet and posting them? So we decided to start doing that. And uh, this will really be our first bigger project where we tackle this backwoods. So look forward to uh, sharing it. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. We're a small channel. We're just getting started. So uh, any of the like and subscribes really help us. So thank you very much.